Hello. Alright. Turn this down. There we go. Alright, finish this up. Hello, Frost. Dang, you've been on a, on a snack attack these past few days, haven't you? <laughs> At this rate, your deer is going to be chunky. True, but could be junkier, just saying. Yeah, that's true. Surprised you still have any left. Ah, oh, thank you. I'll try to add mo more um, characters back there at some point. Some are a little risque, so kind of have to cherry pick the safer the safer ones. Yeah, uh, I don't blame you. I would get cheesecake for my birthday every year, so I totally understand. I forget when I first started doing that. Because I remember the first one my mom got me. She had the uh, baker's put frosting on it so that way she could write happy birthday on it. After that she didn't do that again, but it was funny that she had that happen. Because I guess originally they tried to write on it normally, but that wasn't like sticking or whatever for some reason. So they, so they put frosting on it. Oh, dirt dessert? Oh yeah, those are really good. Or dirt in general. My brother used, would, would um, get that often. Hello, Blue Umbra. Ah yes, Redial. Redial so good. Plus the cookie dough bite. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this sounds like a very good dessert snack.
go. I don't think I did. I'll have to. I'll have to look um, on Discord later. I must have somehow missed it. Or maybe I did watch it, I just don't remember. I'll have to check after the stream. Cause I know I saw a video, but I probably was I was probably busy trying to fix all the uh, the Dropbox shenanigans last night, so it probably just passed over me and I wasn't even thinking about it. I probably just had it on just to have sounds while I was fixing shit. Shane, I think is right. Um, my shading is multiple things because um, let me show you. Turn this off. So the first round of shading I have is just um. Let me turn this off. So basically, I took the color of the character. So this is her normal flat color. Um, I copied it, put it on another layer, and then put another layer above that and put that mode into color. And color will basically turn it into this. So you'll get the grayscale version of whatever colors you used. Um, I flattened it so it would just stay this way. And then I just, you know, added light and shadow to it. And then the next step that I'm on, because I do this in a process, um, I put a... I'll change this to normal too. So put this on normal. But before that, um, this layer you would turn to multiply, and then I just change it to like 80%, so that way it's not super strong. Um, but then you would put... or I would put another layer above that, um, I use this pink, or this uh, peach peach color, so that way it's not like overblown white, but it's like a warmer color. I, you can also use like blue for cooler stuff, but um, I would change this to overlay, and then put this on sixty percent, just so it's not super strong. And now I have, a, and then that, the layer that I'm working on right now is just a like a bluish purple color, and I have it on normal at the moment, but I'm going to change the mode in a bit, but I'm mostly just erasing um, um, the light areas and then leaving the other parts in shadow. And that's basically my shadow. Character on screen, why didn't you give me boobs? Because your original art didn't have boobs, that's why. In fact, let's go, let me grab her original art. Just so can have them both at the same time. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Like the only time I change the design is if I absolutely have to, for whatever reason. So there, see, your original didn't have titties. Actually, I think I can put this above it. There we go. Ah, it's not going to show on screen though. That's okay. We'll just do it this way. Yeah, I would have changed my screen catcher. I'll have to think about that next time. There we go. Move her over here because I know chat sometimes covers up what I'm working on. I'll have to try to pay attention to that too <laughs> more often. Yeah, so don't blame me, blame your original creator. But yeah, right now I'm just erasing the parts that are that have light um, casting on it.
Like, I kind of streamlined how I do things, so that way, one, it's a little bit faster, and two, if I need to change something or fix something, I know exactly where to go. It's not like a giant mystery of where are the layers. I'm the one dueling you. Yeah, but I'm giving you the way I want you to keep. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a bit of a purist. <laughs> Do -do. Then I just basically turn this layer into an overlay, and then make a copy of it and change that into multiply. Although I am considering trying other methods. But sometimes the go-to's are what I want the most. I've been looking at other art videos, so I might be so I'll be experimenting in the coming days. I want to try this. See if it does anything I want. Um, we can move this over here. Sorry, the Thibble is in front of my color swashes, but eh, it's nothing you guys need to know about. Or may not be useful to you guys, I don't know. Uh, seriously, no. Seriously, no. How does one even commission you? Um, nowadays, whenever I do open, I do it via auction. Because there's just too many people that want to get a commission from me. And like... If I try doing, if I try setting a commission on like multiple sites, then it boils down to time and like who who got what first. And if I like post on DeviantArt or any of the other sites first, and then move on to trying to post on the other one second or third, then that's already time lost for the other um, sites to even get a chance. And then if I try doing it based on just doing one each site. Like like one time like one day I just do DeviantArt only or Fern Fandy only and so on and so forth, then it again it boils down to time, so whoever sees the post get them first or whatever. But then the other sites will be asking me, like, hey, um, are are the commissions open and stuff like that, so that just makes it more frustrating. So doing it via auction allows me to open it up on all the sites. And then everyone just basically bow it out because that's like the only fair way for everyone to get a chance to try to get a commission. And I understand that sometimes it, it ends up, you know, people um, bidding more and more and more to the point where other people who, you know, maybe wanted to get a commission but like was only focused on like a certain certain price I had when I had my price my uh, price guides, it just um, pushes them out. And I understand that, but. It's the only fair way I could think of so that everyone actually has a chance chance. And there might be a point where I do do the uh, the uh, price guide method again, but for now I'm just gonna 
keep it the auction method for now and then if i can open it up uh, the old way then i'll do that but again it just boils down to who can get there first and obviously i can't tackle so many commissions all at once again because the last time i did that i had like what 31 commissions and so can't can't exactly do that again that was that was way too much i should not have done that like my initial thought was oh i'll take on like maybe nine and i ended up doing like 31 so so yeah uh but yeah it's just i understand that it sucks I, and i understand there are people who you know can't spend a lot of a lot on commissions which i wouldn't expect them to because you know commissions are a luxury so it's totally understandable but um but uh yeah it's definitely um something that is really hard to just make fair and so the auction is the best way for me to do that uh on a side note you call the hello book the bible it's much too thin <laughs> i just made it fast i could definitely make a better version of it um maybe i'll look into making a bigger version later but have to think of a better well the original design for the thibble was going to have a thick woman on the front and i was like eh, i don't want to get in trouble <laughs> so i opted to just put a random gem on it but uh but yeah um, yeah, if I do make another version, I'll make it like just big and overflow with like notes and shit like that. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe have like one of them be like an Easter egg that's just set. That just has a picture of cake or something on it. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'll I'll try to do something like that in the future. Thick women is a gem. That yes, I agree. I 100% agree with you. Thank God, most of the most of the people I hang out with are women, and most of them are thick, so that works out for me. <laughs> but it is also sometimes a tragedy because can't can't get with them all. Got with some, but not all. Anyway, let's get back to working on this. Have I eaten today? Yes, I have. I've been better about that, no worries. Now I am not using the correct brush. There we go. Is this even doing anything? Uh, I think normal is better for this. Yeah. I'll just put it to 40 like I usually do. <laughs> no worries, I've been better about it. After the stream, I'll, I'll eat lunch. This will likely be a short, another short stream. I've been trying to have my streams be about two hours for now. So that way I can work on stuff that I can't stream. Whether it be risque or just, you know, spoilery stuff or, you know, stuff I can't post in general because it's like an art set or something like that. Hello, Pablo. For me, sometimes either lunch or dinner becomes late, and sometimes I don't eat uh, one or the other because I'm trying not to like do too much. 
because I want to make sure that I can still wear costumes and stuff like that. So I try to keep things in check. Of course, exercise helps too. So, but other than that, I do make sure I eat. The only times like I straight up just don't eat for like the entire day is if I'm like in the zone and just working on something or for whatever reason just something's wrong and I'm just like blah for the day. Yeah, and that's and that's fine. Like if you're not hungry, you're not hungry and nothing really to change about that. Just make sure like, you know, you not being hungry doesn't persist for more than a day. Because I can understand someone just like straight up just doesn't want to eat for a day because that can happen. But if it like is a constant then, then something might be wrong. Yeah, like even like a small snack is fine as long as you ate something. Teriyaki jerky is good though. But he's the table. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's done that for her a few times. Of course, he can't have too much on him because he doesn't want it to fall over. But I'm sure he's put some like sushi or something on him. And then, I don't know, probably covered his dick in whipped cream and put a cherry on top with chocolate. No, I'm pretty sure she'll she noticed. <laughs> I can see Skylar like letting her know just in case. <laughs> but 
But then again, and then again, like given the position of where it is and all that, it's probably obvious enough that she can't just pick it up. <laughs> so she'll probably figure it out one way or another. So yeah, I would say unless she's like face down on his chest or on his body as she's eating food off of him, there's kind of no way for her to make that mistake. Because the moment she tries to pick it up or something, it's just going to lift him. Or at least attempt to lift him, depending on if she can even lift him in that fashion. But yeah, would still be a funny scene to like do like a small skit with or something. Just like make her mistake just on, just for fun. theme or tripod I guess I always associate this with Nitros zoom in a bit so that way you can use a smaller brush I know right <laughs> That's a big kick. I do want to make some character bios, so maybe I'll work on a few of those today before I work on comic stuff. Because Kiwi needs one, among other characters. Give her some flowing eyelashes on this side. Just a little bit, nothing, nothing crazy. Just to kind of match the lashes that she has. There we go. Nothing crazy. Is she a combination of all the FNAF characters? <laughs> no. <laughs> Just some random cobalt that I adopted. But I'm definitely going to change up how I do some of this in the future once I look into other art styles and stuff that I've been studying up on. I 
idea for an alt universe. Oh, so like, yeah, I could I could see a universe like that. But uh, I already have that idea for another set of characters. So whenever I get to it, I'll, I'll use them. Like basically most of like the alt ideas people have had for like Marcy and Skylar or any of the other characters I've, I've shown off. Um, a lot of those ideas I've saved for other characters. So that way they get a chance at, at um, showing up. Just boils down to when I can get to them. It's the only actual challenge I have now. Time. Time is a bitch. I miss music that was like this for games. They don't really do this too often anymore. Or it's just like very niche now. Back when companies were extremely limited with what they could do. Oh, I saw it. I just decided not to say anything because I was just like, eh, I'll, leave, I'll let it go because I was also taking in that you wanted Skylar to also be big. Bad Dragon's too easy now. <laughs> At least with, among furries. It's like, ah, I see what you did. Getting sponsored by Bad Dragon. <laughs> That would be something. They make good stuff though. But yeah, I am not popular enough for that to happen. I'm not popular at all, but definitely not popular enough for that. always laugh when people are like oh you're so popular i'm like no i am not <laughs> like i know myself I, I i know where i am on the on the totem pole and i am not even up there <laughs> oh yeah they have really good stuff they have good artwork too okay Almost done. Would laugh if Bad Dragon was a cologne or body wash scent. 
I mean, if they did that in real life, that'd be interesting. <laughs> if they haven't already. Get some dragon musk. It's like, do it. Do it, you cowards. My problem with cologne, though, is that a lot of cologne kind of smells the same. At least to me. Like, if anything, you're probably better off just wearing perfume, but I don't know. Something for the Chubby Chasers? Shit, I don't even know what would work with that. Because you can't just say, like, hot and sweaty, because that's easy. Like, people could do that without, um, fragrance. I don't know. I think it just be they probably just be better to make like regular scented perfume or whatever based on like Bath and Body Works stuff. So just get like cake flavor or cake smelling stuff or something. I don't know. I don't know where you could go with that honestly. <laughs> like per perfume stuff is hard or um, cologne stuff is hard because you either do it right or you don't bother. Dragon fruit. Yeah. It's one of those things I, that I think you'd have to like experiment with to see what works best. But even then, I think it's a bit of a challenge to try to do that. Especially when the aim is at figuring out what would work for both men and women. So next I'll try to put on some of the highlights for her, but right now I'm just looking for some music. Uh, we'll try this. Sorry about that. There we go, some Tetris. Tetris always has good music. Uh, okay, so we did our eyes. Now I need the unnecessary stuff. Well, I say it's unnecessary, but it does make it look nice. I just say it's unnecessary in terms of like, do you need this? Probably not. this. 
first. Now this part's gonna be interesting. Probably should have put a little bit more light on this side, but that's okay. Can do it this way. Because she doesn't have hair, she just has frills. Yeah, that's fine. Do -do. I think in the future for certain artwork I'll add more detail to the eyelashes so that way they have highlights. But for now I like it this way. Trying to just make it really subtle on her. Size on her nails a bit. There we go. All right.
overlay. Seems a little too dark, so we'll put it like 10%. That's fine for now. I'll have to experiment with that more. Okay. And with that, we pretty much have her. Now she just needs a random background. So that way, if I use her on a card, she has something. Kind of want it to be a little on the generic side. Experiment with some pink and blue. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta understand. My standards are weird because I'm unfortunately every artist compares himself to other artists. So they're always going to, well, unless they're just way up there at this point, a lot of artists are going to think the way I do. <laughs> Be like, God, it looks like Garbo. And it's like probably like the fucking Mona Lisa or something. Uh, do I want it like that? Let's try it the other way around. Do distort. Try twirling. Uh, radius. Did that even do anything? No, it did not. This, that's why I'm all like, what the fuck? Uh... Oh, okay, this is definitely what I was looking for. And I can use this too, so this isn't bad. down a bit. Ooh, that's neat. Put this back at zero. Hey Jet. I'm just digging around. Seeing what works and what doesn't. That's actually really cool. I'm gonna keep that. I'll just throw in another background. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Hope you are too. Uh, I know I'm gonna 
mess with this more. But I want something on top of this too. To the vault. to look up more textures. Uh, we'll see what this dumbass thing that I made in college can be used for. See where this can take me. I think I made this for a bowling ball. <laughs> Must be excited for Thanksgiving. <laughs> right now, right? Or he's like, oh my god, it's almost Thanksgiving. Skyler's, Skyler's gonna make us good shit. change if I change the opacity. Yeah, they probably do, unless they're too broke, but they should have money at the moment. Uh, these aren't bad, not sure what I'm looking for though, that's the hard part. Or maybe it should be a mix of colors, I'll try that. Green is fine, so I'll we'll do it this way. Yeah, 
Yeah, this isn't bad. Let's subtract. Let's see how this can go and see if anything else comes up. Might just use. Because that was a highlight. Or a hard light. Our light's not bad, I might tone it down a bit. Or give her another layer behind that so that way it stands out a little bit more. Favorite light. I think I like vivid light. Um linear light. Emphasizes it more. Yeah, we'll, I'll try moving your light. So I'll make another one. Color you white. Definitely want to make it subtle though. So let's do exclusion and then change the opacity. That's 70 look. subtle than that, so let's try 30. And then how do you look on 70? Might be just better this way. Just kind of lessen this a little. The question is this layer, do I need it at all? It's mostly just here to push her up a bit. I think this is fine. Okay. And 
Then I like the waviness of this. I think I'll keep it. Maybe I'll soften it a bit. Yeah, that's fine. Let's not mess with it. Okay, and just for shits and giggles, let's see what this does. Some of these are pretty neat. I think I like it without it. Alright, so this is Brivy's artwork. Just need to mark it. Close that. Default B. down here because I need that empty space for when I use it on a card. Save. Oh thanks, I hope you have a good um, Thanksgiving as well. Alright, let's save these out. Thank you. Took a bit of time. You hugging? <laughs> like he's like, you know, why? Beck is like, why are you touching me? <laughs> She, she probably wouldn't mind the good food, of course, but uh, she'd definitely indulge more on the alcohol. And she's a decently big eater due to her genes, so she'll likely make off with quite a bit. 
Okay, so now that this character's done, how much time I got left? Can try to work on um, the Becky avatar. So let's do that right now. Uh, this I don't need this uh, where are you you're over here okay uh, thanks yeah just a lot of artwork that I've either put out or are from art sets, but I'm covering most of them, so <laughs> not going to get them that easily. I have another one, too, that uses other artwork that I've done. I'll swap it out. So turn that one off, turn that one on. So here's like other, other characters that I've drawn. Um, mostly, this is all like fan art stuff. Thanks. Okay, so... So I'm gonna need a version of her that has her mouth open. And then I want to change her eyes to make it look like she's having a hard time keeping her eyes open. So we'll change this to Becky Talk, or Hangover Talk. Shouldn't be too much to mess with. It's mostly just going to be her eyes and her mouth. So I'll turn all this off. Yeah, might as well turn that off too because we're changing things around. Now, nah, this is hungover Becky. <laughs> this is her being annoyed that somebody's at her front door at like six in the morning. Well, I. I could say even like it'd be like the afternoon and she'd still be pissed. <laughs> She'd be walking over going like, how the fuck? <laughs> All right, let me change up the music. Got to bring this up again until they release the full song. She looks cute hungover. <laughs> That's probably what her, what her boss, boss slash boyfriend would say. And then she'd get annoyed. But she'd be too hungover to care. She'd be just like, she'd just grumble and she'd be like, Ugh. Okay, so how am I gonna go about this? Yeah, this kind of stuff isn't really hard, it's just lining it up and then, you know, making up for whatever information has been lost. She probably does. She probably sounds cute when she hiccups. Like, it's probably like, a little, like, maybe not squeaky squeaky, but just like, What's the best way to describe? It? Maybe I guess squeaky would work. So like, kind of like Dumbo, when Dumbo got, gets drunk.
I could see that happening. And she'll probably just mumble because she's like half awake. And like the scenario that we were talking about on another stream was she lets in her, her boyfriend and she like tries to make it over to her room or whatever, but she ends up just tripping over her couch just and just falls face down ass up and she just passes the fuck out. And her boyfriend's just staring at her ass, just going like Jesus Christ. <laughs> And just, you know, probably gets her like a blanket or something just so she can nap or fall, just fall back asleep. Great reference for Becky Chuck like Dumbo. <laughs> I could see her loving Dumbo as like one of her favorite movies or something just because of the similarities between him and her. And at the same time, she probably hates um, the story of the Ugly Duckling just because, again, it relates to her too easily. Like Dumbo's more subtle. A bit, well, maybe not subtle, but it's like more... Cute about it, whereas Ugly Duckling was just more of like a straight up picking on scenario. I guess Dumbo did the same thing, but you know what I mean. Dumbo is a little bit more cuter about it. Does she dream dream of pink dancing elephants too? She probably has at some point. Like, she probably saw that scene in Dumbo and was just like, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> and now to make her eyes more half open as she's trying to have a conversation. Because she's like, about to doze the fuck off. But she's still trying to talk to you. Or you're still trying to talk to her and she's just like, she's like, why the fuck are you still talking to me? Just change her position of her pupil or her eye itself. Pretty sure she likes Rudolph. Yeah, she'll she'll basically like most characters that have those kind of situations, except for the ugly duckling, and that's only because kids called her the ugly the ugly duckling growing up, so now she hates that story. And it's only because of that reason, like, she'll like the story for the obvious comparison to her life, but she'll hate it because it was used to teach her. And I guess we'll just change her eyebrow, that way it looks like she's having, like, she's, like, squinting. Like, she's trying to focus. Love how her eyes look. <laughs> Thank you. I get a lot of compliments about how I do eyes. And I'm like, yay! <laughs> Something. And then it's been pointed out that I basically draw a lot of bedroom eyes. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh yeah, kind of like Tom. That's if she hits like the really hard shit. Because she's a bit of an alcohol. well she is an alcoholic. So she has to, re and plus she's got two stomachs so she's definitely got to take that into account. So she drinks more than she probably should health wise. But she wants to be able to feel it. 
So let's change this a bit. Lopsided compared to the other one. Let's use what it, we had. There we go, that's better. And then we'll change the position of this eyelid. So that way it looks like she's like a little annoyed that she's trying to focus on whatever conversation she doesn't care about. She's just like, why are you talking? Let's make her look all pissy. Imagine a vintage drunk cartoon music. <laughs> Whenever I start taking the time to make some like short little animatic things, I'll try to look into the whole drunk music that old cartoons would use. Because that'll be fun. And just put Becky in like a situation where she's like trying to focus and trying to have a conversation or whatever. Or I get to see her like getting drunk um, when she's like hanging out with her boss or something. And then her boss is trying to like take her to bed but she just falls over the couch. And you just get a big old view of butt. <laughs> and all you can really do about it is just make sure she's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, there we go. This looks nice. So let's turn these back on. And now we just gotta make up for whatever it is I have to change. So let's grab these. We'll do her mouth first. Shrine. Do this from the beginning. There we go. Uh, so let's erase what we don't need. Luckily, a lot of this is like not super hard to do. Just saying it, there's a you're despicable. <laughs> yeah, I could see her like getting a lisp or whatever um, Daffy has, but only when she's drunk. And she just sounds like Daffy. And like at first she doesn't know that she does that until Pax um, shows her and she's like super embarrassed going like, oh my god, I do not sound like that. That would be cute. <laughs> 
and she'd kill him if, if he tried to show anybody. She'd be like, if you show anybody that video, I'll kill you. And, and coming from her, you know it's not a, it's not just an idle threat. She's like, no, I'm serious. I will. I have I have an extra extra rug in, in my in my car. I will use it to bury you in. And she's like, I know a good place too that nobody will find you. Getting the quack fucked out of her. Oh, yeah. What if that's like the only time she ever quacks is when she's drunk and having sex? Because, like, when she's sober, she can just kind of take it, but also, you know, still be flustered. But when she's drunk, she just completely um, lets loose. Just doesn't hold back anything. Then you also gotta think about it, like if she's pent up enough, she has enough like milk milk in her tits, so she might lactate during sex or whatever. Oh yeah, the rabbit season, duck season. She doesn't even have much of a foot to stand on in that argument, because it's like, is she a duck? <laughs> it's like genetically, yes, she is a duck, but she's got everything else going on, so she's like the whole fucking hunting season at that point. <laughs> Okay, so that didn't take long to do. Let me just compare it to... Oh yeah, I still gotta do this part of her eyes. So gotta change... where this is. There we go. So... got this... So, this will be her when she tries to talk. Because, like, first she's staring at you going, like, what the hell are you talking about? And then when she's actually talking, she's like, shut up, will you? <laughs> it's, it's the morning, and then it's like, Becky, it's, it's, it's like one in the afternoon. And she's like, don't correct me. Being face to face with her with a strong alcohol, his breath hitting. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. You you definitely know she's been drinking. Two of them in bed, laying as I was I are. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like she quacks, and then she's just like completely embarrassed that she even quacked. Okay, so next we need to do the blinking. Uh, I can probably do it over the eyes for both of them, so that way I don't have to go into their actual folders. It's just going to be a bitch. So let's see what I can do. Because it's not hard, because I can just make the illusion so we'll just call this one hangover blink because this isn't hard it's just time consuming so first let's cover up what we're not going to see and luckily this doesn't get rid of the original art at all since it's flat colored. So this is the benefits of having it being flat, because I can just do it this way. And I did notice that empty spot on her, so let me grab that real quick. There we go. And you were 
is supposed to be the other layer, but that's okay. We'll just do it this way. Uh, does she like rum or whiskey or eggnog during a Christmas? The answer to all that is yes. <laughs> Speaking of duck and bunnies, he's in. Oh yeah, I need to draw the clown character because that's the first time I drew her, so <laughs> I need to make an actual artwork of her. Because she did not exist until that Aztec has. But I've been wanting to make like a goofy character. Okay, next. Because we're mostly just going to need the bottom part of her eye. So we'll do like this much. Should be fine. And then I'll draw in whatever details I need. We'll keep the upper part of her eye where her eyebrow is. Uh, one of these as a cast, pick a two. Oh yeah, I already read that. Well, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, Apricot's not a clown. I could see Apricot hiring the clown character. <laughs> Just because she thinks he's funny. Or even, like, watching, like, a show with the clown character. And just loving it. Okay, let me back up a bit. So, this would be... Eye closed. not line up so let's do it like this oh uh, thanks <laughs> I need to practice stuff like this more often, because I'd like to use like other characters too for streams. But right now, Becky's the go-to. Uh, let me compare it, because it might be off. Oh yeah, it's definitely off. It's mostly just where the big eyelash is. So let's fix that. So let's make this transparent. starters her eyelashes would be even, even bigger than this actually that should be enough though uh good question Beck goes in either by I would say yes, that multiple species would be attracted to her pheromones. Which is also bad for her because she's ready to tear somebody up. So, it's both a good time and a bad time. <laughs> 
like you you will not envy anyone she ends up sleeping with with when she's in heat. It's basically like that acid cast pick of packs covered in scars or just like cuts and and bite marks. It's basically just that. And that's why he makes the comment that he hopes Becky restock the bandages. Get these a little bit bigger. This is probably not going to be perfect, but try to make it look good. Okay, so let's put this back to normal. Yeah, so let's just... Might just have to cover this part. So that way her eyelashes make sense. So let's do this. Mostly just making this up as I'm going. There we go. That's a lot better. And just clean it up a little. Technically, these would be aimed. Supposed to be from her eyelashes, not the side of her eye. Okay, so got one eye done. Now I gotta get the other one. This one should be a little bit easier. Gags and cuffs handy. <laughs> she has a bit of strength, so she might it might take a little bit more than regular cuffs to hold her. But then again, Pax might like it. <laughs> might might like the roughness. So, bit of a trooper if he can handle it. He's like, yeah, we've talked about uh, trying to restrain her, but he kind of likes it. <laughs> kind of likes it. Likes her being rough on him. Do. -do. How long is this? This is like a half hour, is it? Oh god, it's like an hour of this. Okay, we can change this. Uh... Let's see... Let's try this. So her eyelashes would be about down there, so... I know, right? Like, that's why she's got the bondage gear. <laughs> Yeah, I could say, like, they probably get the bondage stuff for when, or just, like, you know, stuff to strap her down for when they just want to have, like, a little bit more controlled session, for lack of a better phrase. Oh, this is going to suck, because her eye is over here. Her eyelash is over here. Uh, what can I do to fix that? I could see if I can just leave it alone and just leave it as a mark on the line art. We'll see. Because I might have to deal with that. Then again, it's probably not even going to be noticeable unless, I, unless you know about it already. 
But yeah, I can see like getting the bond stuff for when they just want to have a little bit more of a safer session, so that way he's not bleeding all over the place. And then other times, like he's like, "No, I want it rough now," and she's just like, "Okay." <laughs> something about it. Exactly, she's like, okay, your, your, your funeral. And she clings to him, scratches the hell out of his back and bites him. But she's enjoying it. I can see her, like, licking his wounds affectionately when she's like still in the mood but then afterwards she'll like apologize and get him like the bandages and stuff okay so let's see if i can do anything about this because it's gonna be there because i can't get rid of the white because the white's gonna be necessary oh you know what actually no because it has to Blend in with the background, so yeah, I have to do it this way. Because it's not, it's not something I can technically get rid of. Okay, so here's her hungover, talking, blink. Okay, so this is her. When she's talking, she'll do this. And now we have to... Do it when she's not talking. How does this look? Uh, this actually isn't bad. I just have to cover up the necessary stuff, and I could probably duplicate this. Yeah, uh, that'll actually save me time. So let's just do this twice. Uh, get some more music going. Uh, these are long, but fuck it, I'll just leave them on and then change it later. But yeah, I can just erase what I don't need to see and should be fine. Speak speaking of which, did I? Yeah, I did. Do So yeah, this part wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Which is good. Luckily I had a job doing movie editing in stereographic 3D, so I know what to look for. Or actually, do we want that? This is fine. We'll keep that line. Kinda doesn't line up with the top eyebrow, but you know that's fine. Not necessarily supposed to line up, but that's whatever. Go. Okay. Uh, 
this this one for Okay, so that worked out. So now when she is not talking, her eyes will just do this. Alright, cool. So we technically have her done. I would like to put like little drunk bubbles around her. But I wanna animate I want those animated so I might work on that at another time. Okay, so let me just save these out. And then we'll have our drunk Becky. I think they have to be PNGs. Yes, they do. So drunk Becky one. And then one B. Oops, not JPEG. I have a border? What the hell did I get a border for? Drink Becky 2. I'm so used to clicking on JPEG that I immediately click on it. And to be. Okay. Now let me just set this up. Create states. And we're good. Ah, oh, shit, did I? No? I didn't? Okay. Uh, save. Uh, let's save this again. Yes. Okay, should be good now. Let me just see how it looks on stream. And for some reason we have this stupid line. Why do we have a line? Where did this line come from? Uh, let me see. Hold on. So this Becky doesn't have it. This Becky doesn't have it. Why does this one have it? Display settings. Background. Ah. Oops. Cancel. Grace, move off. Why does this Becky have lines? Oh, you know what? I think I know why. Yeah, okay, I see what I did wrong. So, 
apparently, there's this black outline out that's around Becky. Yeah, the border. She has it from her line art from when I, uh, from when I added that black outline around her. That's what happened. It's always something. So yeah, let me just delete these. I have to go in there and erase it better, but anyway, so here's Drunk Becky. <laughs> Even if it's a little off at the moment. Hope you like it. <laughs> Let me just fix it so then I can fix her files. Yeah, it's this bullshit. I just gotta do it again for the... Blinks and the open mouths. So I just gotta resave all this. Okay, so that's that one fixed. Now I'm gonna do this side. He will fix her. <laughs> yes, only I and Pax can fix her. If you can even call it that. Thank you. Wait, did these not get deleted? Oh, they're on the wrong fucking layer. God damn it. There we go. There. Jesus. Okay, we're good on that end. Good on this end. Now I just gotta resave it. So we'll do hungover. For, we'll do this one. We'll just do it in order. G. Yes. Okay, cool, that's already fixing it. Uh, we'll do the blink. Yes. Okay, now I just gotta re upload them. Okay. Now we officially have a new bag. There we go. All right. So once I make something to have like, you know, drunk bubbles around her or something like that, I can use that. And then I don't know, maybe I'll put like a big bottle of alcohol as her prop. So that way we can use that. They say that the easiest way to get rid of a hangover is to drink again. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that kind of works. <laughs> yeah, but I want to animate those. So I want them to like 
float around her in like different patterns or something. So just want to make it interesting. But definitely have to do that for either another stream or on the side. Anyway, I th I th that's going to call it for the day. Um, thank you for coming. Um, I will be working on comic pages this weekend. Um, I want to work on a lot of Black Circus since I had is um, ahead of it by like three pages or so. Um, so I'll probably work on mostly Black Circus. Um, if I do have time, I'll probably work on I had to, but um, we'll see where, what happens. But um, yeah, those should be ready. I want to say Monday. But <laughs> Becky Hick, she'd be like, <laughs> but um, but yeah, um, I'll do as much as I can this weekend and then post them, um, and then I'll start working on like Patreon related stuff throughout the week and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, thank you all for coming. I will. I want to try to stream again on Monday, so that will be the plan. So I will see you guys again on Monday. All right, you guys take care. Have a good day. Bye bye.